Hey guys, it's Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Today we're going to take a look at the Legacy Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger. Franchise logo at the top, season logo at the bottom. One exclusive accessory. Nice portrait of Tommy as the White Ranger. Gold and white colored lightning bolts all over the package. On the back, the Build the Figure Megazord. And the other figures in Wave 3, which are Yellow Mighty Morphin, White Mighty Morphin, the figure we're looking at today, Black in Space, Blue in Space, and Pink in Space. So let's take a look. You have it. Tommy the White Ranger. Season 2 edition of Tommy Oliver. Go over articulation real quick. Head swivels all the way around. Looks down. Looks up. Not a whole lot, but quite a bit. He does have a very different design aesthetic, but that's because the White Ranger suit was taken from Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger footage instead of Kiro Sentai Ju Ranger footage, which is what the rest of Mighty Morphin Season 1 was adapted from. Season 2 was mostly adapted from Dai Ranger. His arms swivel that far up. They are hindered slightly by the shield. He does have a bi swivel. Double jointed elbows. A wrist swivel at the glove cut. His wrist swivels all the way around and bends up and down. He does have the ab crunch, you can crunch up and crunch down. It's not hindered by his shield piece, and it's kind of hard to see, but he does still have the diamond design, which was part of the mold, I guess. He has a waist swivel, and he can swivel all the way around, which is very strange. His legs go all the way out. All the way forward and quite a ways back. He has a swivel at the thigh cut, double jointed knees, swivel at the boot cut, and ankle rocker up and down and side to side. So he's got quite a bit of articulation, just like the rest, and none of his is really hindered by his sculpt, even though it is quite different. Notice his belt is very different. There is no morpher. That's because he has this very uh, ornate Asian design. And his chest, obviously, very different because he has the shield piece. And his helmet sculpt is that of a tiger. It's quite nice. He does come with a holster, his holster being gold. And it has a slit right here on the back, which opens. And he comes with a fully painted Saba, his enchanted tiger saber, who in the show talked. And it was the control mechanism for the White Tiger Zord. I mean, look at that. Nice. Nice detail all over it. Great paint, great sculpt. The head is fully painted. Fits in his hand very nicely. He does have the peg hole right there for his holster. His hands are sculpted slightly different. 
There you have it. And we can finally take a look at this right here. The Build a Figure Megazord. Does have head articulation on a ball joint goes all the way around you can look down slightly look up slightly his arms can go all the way around and that far out he has a bend at the elbow swivel at each wrist No waist articulation that I can find, even though it looks like it was cut for it. There isn't. His hips can go that far out. And that far up. So not, not really. But it's because it's hindered by the sculpt. They can go that far back. He has a bend at the knee. And... Fully articulated ankle, so he can rock his ankle that way, and up and down. And you can get him in a pretty cool pose. He does not have the Mastodon Shield or the Power Sword, but I do have these two swords. I'm not exactly sure what they go to. They say... Two thousand eight Mattel. Mattel Toy Company. That's all it says. They fit in his hands perfectly. So he can at least have some kind of weapon. We'll get one up like this and another one down like this. Has pose. That. There you go. That is the Legacy White Ranger and the Legacy Build a Figure Megazord. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe for more videos. We have a ton of more videos coming, so stay tuned. Have a nice day. And Happy Easter!